Madam President, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for inviting me. For me, it's an honor to be here and to support you and uh, to honor your casualties uh, of Ashraf. We are, ladies and gentlemen, we are meeting again and again in Paris, Berlin, or today in Geneva, demonstrating our support, our solidarity, and empathy with your comrades at Camp Liberty. And now for seven hostages as well. In the meantime, we have witnessed five massacres against your friends at Camp Ashraf and Camp Liberty. The last one is 53 victims, brutally murdered, handcuffed, and shot in their hands. A politically motivated killing by announcement. I call it killing by announcement because foreseeable the government of Iraq is responsible for the security of all residents. But so far, the Iraqi government has not protected the residents at all. Therefore, the Iraqi regime is responsible for the massacre. Everybody knows how close President al-Maliki is with the Iranian regime. Everybody knows about the strong ties between the Iranian Secret Service and the Iraqi government. The government of Iraq is accountable for the crime at Ashraf, and it is accountable for the fate of the seven hostages as well. Ladies and gentlemen, after every massacre, we are writing letters, petitions to presidents, Prime Ministers, Ministers, to the Secretary General of the United Nations, to the High Representative of the European Union, again and again asking for protection of the people at Ashraf and now of liberty and for asylum in Europe and North America. We need immediate actions. Actions to free the seven hostages as soon as possible before they are extradited to the Iranian regime or killed. We need actions to protect the people at liberty as long as they have to stay there. So far, UN United Nations has badly failed, leaving the camp residents completely unprotected. Why does UNHCR the interviews not within Camp Liberty, but outside. It would help the residents to be protected to have the interviews within the camp. Why has the United Nations never considered stationing blue helmets at Liberty? The US in particular has failed, and the Europeans are passive as always. The Iranian regime has only one interest, to annihilate all of them as soon as possible. We have to fight for the survival of all people at Ashraf and for the seven hostages. It is our duty, and we should never give up. Don't give up your hope. There are sometimes dreams but sometimes dreams uh, get realistic. And this, I do believe that, you, that the Iran will be once again a free country. Thank you.